Hello, world. What's up, everybody? We are live. Are we live? Yet? No, not yet, but we are getting Joe Penafel the party. Man, Pensacola Beach, Florida, August 2nd. Oh, Island Fights out. 58. Ticketmaster.com. UFC Fight Pass. The party don't stop. The party don't stop. So Joe Party Penafel is going to join Fight Bananas right now. Ah! Can you the guys hear party. Me Quiet down. <laughs> Always a party, my man. How you doing, Joe? I'm all right. Let me get this shit right, bro. I got my Gilligan's Island hat since I'm going to Island fight. You That's me? what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> man, the party never stops. Coming to Pensacola Beach, Florida. The party babies are here. They want to say hi. What's up? What's up, buddy? The party kids are in here. <laughs> Hey, well, you guys got to be quiet. All right, you guys keep going. <laughs> are you bringing the kids to the beach? Are you bringing them to Island Fights 58, August 2nd? No, there's no way I'm bringing those <laughs> kids there. I don't bring these kids to anything near my fu- uh, my my fucking workplace of uh, beating people in the head because they'll bother me to death and I'm supposed to be taking a break from them. I'll give them hugs and toys when I get back. There you go. <laughs> all right, all right. Father of the year. We love it. We love it. Yeah, we got You know, the wife has to, you know, my wife's coming, of course. She get she's the sacrificial lamb the night before. She's like my virgin conquest every year. We do our own little thing the night before, just in case I die. Ah, stop, slow down. <laughs> I love up? it, Joe. I love it. I you love gotta it. stop laughing at me. Man, that's great. We're laughing stuff. with you. We're laughing with you. That's I'm great kidding, stuff. I love you guys. How you guys doing? Man, Good, we're doing buddy. great, brother. We had a great night. We're here at Island Fights headquarters. We just had Abe Kawa first round management on. We had Tyler Hill on. Lucas Alexander, someone you see on the daily there at Fusion XL Performance Center. He is armed and ready for Island Fights 58. How are you doing? How, you know, tell me about how your mindset is going into this major fight on UFC Fight Pass. Dude, I am so fucking happy. It's fucking insane. I'm beyond happy. I'm super stoked. Um, I don't know. I'm just real happy. Everything's going the way I wanted to go. This guy's going to either have to submit me or knock me out because that's the only thing he's got. You know, that's the only try he's got. If it doesn't go either way like that, I'm going to kill him. I'm going to break him in half. I'm telling you, I'm going to break this kid in half. We'll see what's up, though. You know, anything can happen in the cage. I'm not a retard, but, you know, let the chips fall when they may. I'm going to die out there uh, on my shield, and it's going to be mano a mano. I think it's going to be a shootout. That's it. That's my prediction. It's going to be a live cagey event with me and him going at it at every position. But I'm ready for that. I've been in dark places, and I got demons in my brain. So this guy better come with some pain because I'm coming for a lot. You know what I mean? I'm coming with elbows, knees, taekwondo, tornado kicks, whatever, you know. Uh, I think a lot of people are overlooking me like always, but this is just a, a, another day in my life. Like, seriously, like I've never – um. I've never been, I think, like, uh, let's say the number, the A side or the number one guy, not just in MMA, but in life in general. But, um, I, I think I win a lot. So in wrestling, I win, I used to win a lot too. Guys used to overlook me. Four and O, oh, Joe, you're doing something right, man. You're the A side tier in the Fight Bananas family. That's right. That's right. Uh, no, we, we love you guys. Central Florida is that's where it's at. Fight Bananas is where it's at. Fight Bananas all day, every day. <laughs> Awesome, man. Hey, dude, I was excited when you got this, uh, when, when I saw this announcement. I was really, really proud of you and happy for you, brother. Um, you know, we were having a conversation in the car as, uh, what's somebody that, um, that people need to start looking at and stop, like you said, overlooking. And as far as uh, the pros go in this area of Florida, and uh, you you were the first one that popped up in my, in my brain to, that uh, people need to start paying attention to you, brother. And I, I'm glad you're starting to get fights to where people can see, see the party do work. Yeah, I know I'm a. I I think I get a bad guy rap sometimes because I act like a dickhead and stuff. But it's really because, uh, I don't know, man. Like you know, one on one thing. Like when it's uh enemy versus enemy, that's what I think. He's an enemy in my head. There's no uh, there's no respect. Like you know, me and him, his coaches got into it at combat night, and uh, I'm ready to kick all their fucking ass. It's not the coaches, obviously. I just want to fucking beat this guy's head and and win and be uh. Let me get this finger off my face. And then, um, yeah, I just want to win. So I want to be the best, and I want to beat this guy. This guy will be a really nice feather on my cap. He was on the Ultimate Fighter Brazil series. He's like 7-1, and one, and he's a black belt hurt from Damian Maya. So I want to submit this motherfucker, get in, like hurt him, and somehow jump on his neck, get a quick submission by mistake, and then, get, uh, then someone's got to give me a black belt. 
<laughs> I love that. We, we heard that today. If you beat someone, you get everything they get. All their momentum, all their wins, all their credentials, they belong to the Joe Party Penafel, this man right here. You know what I'm saying? So I agree with you. If, if the, it goes that way, the, the seal, like, your future to me is just, you know, endless. Uh, big, big stuff ooh, happening ooh, for you. This MMA thing's a lot about politics, too. People want to call me old, but the people at the gym at Fusion, they know what's up. You got uh, John seeing me, and that was like on an off day where I'm not even like training that hard. I can go for hours and hours and hours. I don't stop. I work hard, and I play harder. And I like to party real fucking hard. <laughs> Here you go. Wow. Oh man, we love it. We no love uh, we love we love your uh, mentality. We love your work ethic. We love you know your personality. It's always fun having the party around, man. And we're uh, we're excited to see you do things uh, <laughs> and be uh, and go up the ladder like you should, bro. We're we're excited for you. For sure, bro. Thank you guys so much. Yeah, it's a big opportunity, and I think I'm a, I'm gonna do as much as I can with it. You know what I mean? I'm trying to really uh, implement a full game of MMA, and you guys will see it that day. I feel like this guy has um, – he's a really good fighter, but um, I think he like uh, – I don't know. I feel like I'm just better than him. Like I'm more of a savage than him. Like I'm not going to like outpoint him. Like yeah, I'm smart and I could do that and jab you and do stuff like that, but I'm going to hurt him probably. If I hurt him, he's going to get finished. He's not, And if he hurts me, I'll just come back like I always do, like a zombie. There's no quitting me. Um, I, I'm not a quitter. I had a lot of like – I had a couple deaths in the family this year. One uh, close family and one of my wife's family. So I got a lot of feel for this guy. You know what I mean? So Because sure. I put that all in a little ball and I put it in my heart. And then I stuff it down so I get to go see these guys face to face. And then I kick their foot. You know, I use I, I release a lot of shit in there was what I'm trying to say. No, that's awesome, man. Well, sorry for any of your loss, Joe. Uh, you know, we're definitely big fans of you. We, uh, you know, we love you and the family. We definitely can't wait to see you. We're going to be, I can't wait, man. I'm going to be here in Pensacola, Florida, going to be ringside watching the party do his work. We're so excited for that. Just last, we can kind of close with this. Island Fights <laughs> has had seven events on UFC Fight Pass. Every single event, there's someone on that card that goes to Dana White Contender Series or they just straight go to the UFC. Multiple fighters, male or female, right? So mm -hmm. what does fight on island fights underneath the UFC fight pass? What does that do for the party and for your career? Like I said, man, um, really at the end of the day, it's just another fight to me. I could give two fucks less what happens. The UFC calls me old or they want to come, come, you know, take a look at what the best guy around in Florida looks like, they can come see me. I'm, um, I still got a lot to grow. I got a lot to learn, but I'm learning from the best. I got world champion Brazilian jiu-jitsu gi uh, players and guys that um, fight over at 1FC like Leandro Issa on top of me every single day. Brudinho beats the living shit out of me. I got – and these guys are uh, heavier than me sometimes. Like Diego beats the crap out of me. Diego um, – uh, Magrino is his nickname online. And then Lucas, he likes to play with me sometimes. I try to stay away from his big ass horse legs. And then, uh, <laughs> so there's so many guys like King Zuvi, um, let's say Matt Ferralo. He's fighting on Titan FC. I mean, I work the best guys. So I'm just real blessed. And I have a lot of uh, good friends here in Orlando from the guys over at Orlando BJJ, which uh, I was able to do a training camp with them last summer, to guys over at uh, all the American top teams from Longwood to East Orlando. Um, they all know me and they all support me, and they've all given me a home at one point where I didn't have a, a lot of money and stuff to pay for a gym, and these guys would just open the doors and uh, be real cool and teach me. And to me, that means a lot. Absolutely, man. Absolutely. That's awesome, bro. That's awesome. We're uh... That's yeah. what we like to hear. We like to see, hear the stories, and we like to see the come up. So we're we're proud of you, brother. Man, of course, the party. I'm going to light this motherfucker up. <laughs> <laughs> August 2nd, Island so, Fights I'm, 58, my man. Can't wait to see you. Good luck to you. We'll see you soon, man. Have a great camp. I love you guys. Island Fights, come watch me at UFC Fight Pass. Dean Tool, this is the best fucking money you bought, motherfucker, right here. This is the goods. Just wait when I break this guy. He might hit me a couple times, though. I'm scared of that. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys later. You have a good night. Later, brother. Bye, brother. Later. Party versus the world. That's it, guys. Joe Party Penafel, Islands Fights 58. We're closing the show. The party don't stop. Man, the party never stopped, man. What a great night, guys. What a great day it's been for Fight Bananas. Check us out on YouTube. 
Instagram, Fight Bananas Official. Slide in those DMs. The next show, we're going to have three, four, five questions. We already got two today. We can't wait. Fight Bananas Official. Slide into those DMs. Ask away. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Get it. Let's go. You said it himself, guys. Abe Kawa, thank you so much on earlier. First round management for life. That's what we do. Big news coming, guys. People super close to John and I. Family. Straight up family. Big major news coming very, very soon. Stay tuned to Fight Bananas, baby. Oh, you might hear it here first. You never know. We might have a pop-up show tomorrow night. We'll see. We got something coming up with Mike Beast Boy Davis Thursday night. Thank you so much. We'll talk to everyone soon. Stay blessed. Be safe. Have a great night.